Welcome everybody to this training series. In this training, we will be going over how to use local storage. If you ever wanted to learn how to use local storage so that way you can store data on your client side rather than on your web server, this is a training series you want to watch all the way through. We will go through every single step, step by step how to use local storage in terms of just like if you were to use your MySQL database, we will create a table, we will create fields, we will store information in there, and then we will also pull information on, delete it, and do all the CRUD oper operation. In case if you don't know what CRUD is, CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. And we will go through all those steps. So what we are going to be learning throughout this training series is First of all, learn local storage. Obviously, I think I made that very clear. Second, build a pretty a pretty simple system, which is the task manager. So what this will do is it will allow you to add a new task and then view a task and also delete it. And then also we have another option where we can edit. So let's quickly go over this system that you're going to be learning how to build step by step. So if I click on this button right here that says add new task, and then this screen will come up in here. We have three forms of fields. One is the task name. Another one is the completion date and the description of the task. So let's fill this out. So if I click on the task field name and type something in here, I'll just type something like task one or something like that. And then if I go here, click on the drop down box and I will show you how to create this calendar, which will be fairly easy. All you have to do is just add in just one line of code that's all you need to create this calendar right in your browser so i'm gonna say the date will be the 16th and in here i'll just say i don't know call it uh task one or this is my task one and before i hit on save i want to just open this i mean in the console log so to show you in case you never ever use this technique or known about it or always were curious if you're using google chrome and you open up your console log let me open that up again you can see it so if i right click right here and then click on inspect and this will open up this whole bunch of other tabs on the side and you want to click on console log and right now there's nothing in here and wait until i click on the save button what this will appear this is going to appear in here in case you never ever used it this is going to be mind-blowing for you like literally mind-blowing so let me click on save and then it added this record in the local storage and also check this out in here it added a record id which we will go through it how to do it but it store it will show you in terms of like a database table so let me add another one just so you want to see so if i go in here and call it task two and then i'll just create a i don't know random day for the 17th and i'll say this is task two and then click on save notice right now i just one and then right after i click on save it's going to say two the next obviously the reason why it steps up because we are the way the javascript it was it goes to line by line so it's adding an, another command to it but nonetheless point being is that check this out we're looking at this as a database so we have record one record two and then the name just like you would do it in your mysql table how cool is that and we're going to be learning how to do this i'm going to show you how to do this fairly easy in case you never really known how to do that so i'm gonna close this out and the next thing what we want to do is we want to edit something in here all we basically do is so right now this task description it says task one i want to change it for whatever reason right so if i go in here click on edit and this will bring up this so now i'll just say okay i'm editing there i'll just type in i am editing this task or whatever the case might be right and i click on save and then it's going to say i'm editing the task bang how cool is that if i want to delete this particular task all i have to do is click on this button a little pop-up comes up like are you sure you want to add delete task one which is the name of the task if i say no it's going to go away but if i click on it yes it's going to delete that and boom off you go however if you want to delete all the tasks that you have in here you can just click on there click on delete all tasks and are you sure you want to do it i'm going to say yes and then bing then it's going to say, hey, do you have no more tasks? Because obviously you do not. But this is really powerful, guys. 
if you ever wanted to use, like I said before, local storage to store your stuff in there and then bring the data back as you need it rather than making a call to your server, this training series just for you. I cannot wait to show you all the things that this thing can do for you so that way you can create your own application and incorporate these techniques that you're going to learn. So without any further ado, I will see you guys in the next video.